If the ratchet ever comes unthreaded, um, it's fairly simple to put the webbing back in. Of course, the webbing pulls in from the side. One end is loose. It can come out or maybe it arrived that way. Um, you're gonna go in to the back side of this clam, okay? So you take the ratchet to tell what the back side is. Pretend this is a mouth. You're going into the quote back of the head or back of the mouth, right? So you're going to come in. It's gonna go through the ratchet. So on this spool, there's a slit you slide it through that slit and it comes out the other side. So both pieces of webbing are on the back side. This spool will turn around when the ratchet is flat. So when the ratchet is flat, the spool releases and it's loose. You can rotate it around, you can see. So I'm making it so it's flat You'll take the webbing, push it in through the center, and then out. Both pieces of webbing are on the same side. You'll pull the webbing tight as you can first. Pull the T to start to close the ratchet, and then ratchet tight. You can see the webbing is spinning around the spool. Make sure you pull the end of the webbing tight first. Otherwise, the webbing will just spool around um, the ratchet spool and never get tight around the boat. Click it closed. In order to open it, you use two fingers, pull the little bar, pull it back open. Now, once it's flat like this, to release the webbing, you pull on the webbing and you can see the ratchet spool in the center releases.